Hello everyone. Now welcome back to today's tutorial. We are continuing with the revision of KCC 2022 Maths Paper 2. And today we are going to focus on question 10. The question reads a circle center C 5,5. Passes Passes through points A, 1,3 and B, 8,9. Find the equation of the circle and hence the possible values of A. Now we know that the general equation of a circle is given by x minus a squared plus uh, y minus b squared is equal to half squared, where a and b are the coordinates of the center of the circle, which in this case is 5.5. So it means the value of a and b are both 5. So x minus a is 5 square plus y minus v, which is also part square. This should give us r squared. So that is the, uh, the general equation of circle. Now, um, for us to get, for us to get the value of a in this case, we will need to know what the radius is. So for us to get the radius of this circle, we, are, we will substitute, because we are told that uh, this circle also passes through point A, uh, which is 1,3. So we are going to substitute our x with 1, and substitute our y with 3. Square with radius square. So once you have this, uh, we are going to subtract here. This is negative 4 square plus negative 2 square equals r square. This is going to be 16 plus 4 is equal to r square. So our r squared is actually 20. So the radius squared is 20. Now, okay. now that we have the radius squared, we can rewrite the equation of a circle and actually get the value of a in this case. So now, if we are this time round, we are not going to use point A. We are going to use point B alone. Because whichever point we choose along the circumference of a circle, the radius should always be the same. The radius should always be the same. And therefore, if we, we use A minus 5 square, it is for this. And we add this to. Uh, 9 minus 5 squared. This should give us 20. So the radius is always constant. The radius is always a constant. Regardless of which point you choose along the circumference of the circle. So uh, this is going to be a squared plus this is 2 it's not going to be plus but minus 2 times that, okay? 2 times, that is going to be 10 a plus 25 plus, this is 4 squared, which is 16. This should give us 20. Yeah? So, uh, once you have this, from the look of things, it looks, looks like a quadratic question, so this will be minus 10a, and uh, here is going to be 
16. Um, let me do the addition. Yes, let's continue, guys. So, if we add this, we are going to get 31. We need to subtract 20 from that side so that we remain with 0 this side. Uh, when we subtract, when we subtract this, we are going to have a squared minus 10a plus 21 is equal to 0. So we are going to look for two numbers. When you multiply, you get 21. The coefficient of a squared here is actually 1. So 1 times 21, the product will be, our product will be 1, will be 21. Right? So we look for two numbers such that when you multiply them, the two numbers we get 21. But when we add, we get negative 10. So the two numbers are 7 and negative 7 and negative. So we are going to replace this middle term as a negative 7a and a negative 3a plus 21 is equal to 0. Now let's factorize out a. We are going to group this and this. Yeah. So we are going to factorize out a into a minus 7 minus here. We are going to factorize out 3 into a minus 7 is equal to 0. So it's going to be a minus 3 and we take one of this terms, a minus 7 equals 0. So either, either a minus 3 is equal to 0 or a minus 7 is equal to 0. So it means a is equal to 3 or a is equal to 7. So those are the possible values of a as per this question. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to this channel since we'll be posting a lot of videos of uh, dealing with KCSE mathematics questions. Uh, also hit the like button. See you next time.